installing the G-stove in a side exit fashion today. Traditionally, you would vent the flue pipe of a tent stove out the roof of a tent. So the flue pipe is completely vertical. However, if you're not going to be using your tent stove year round, and you don't want to cut a hole in your canopy, the G stove is designed so that you can side exit it through a window or out the side wall of a tent. I'm going to be taking this through the window. We're going to be using a, a flue pipe heat shield, which is going to keep the hot flue pipe away from the window so it doesn't melt just gives it a little extra space for a buffer. I'm going to attach this flue pipe and all you'll need is a sharp knife to cut the mesh out of the back window. So now we're ready to cut a vent for our heat shield. And what you're going to want to look for is the very, very top of the window to give the stove heat shield as much clearance as possible. And the best way to go about doing this is to just cut a simple X pattern. I'm going to start at the top, poke, and pull just a little bit through that mesh backing, and then from the sides on each direction. The small end of the flue pipe. Set it right through, nest it in, zip up the window tight along the heat shield. So this is gonna give you a little bit of extra stability as well as uh, prevent some heat loss. We're gonna start adding the rest of the flue pipe sections. I always like to give the heat shield a little bit of extra support. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some rocks, stack them up underneath the stove, make sure that they're relatively flat and well connected. And then I'm just gonna use an additional section of flue pipe to prop up the heat shield section. We're gonna start adding on our flue pipe sections. Um, we're side exiting the stove, so we're going to be adding the 90 degree bend pipe on to the heat shield. And then we're gonna start to stack from there. You want to make sure to always have a heat resistant or fireproof mat underneath your stove before starting a fire. You can use the G stove fire resistant mat that's sold specifically for this model. In this case, I'm just using a simple tile that I picked up at my local hardware store. So now we have our flue pipe system assembled, our stove set up, and everything is super secure. So at this point, I feel confident starting our first fire. So now we're ready to light our stove. What you're gonna need is some kindling, uh, small starter pieces, and then your firewood. The G stove fits a standard 16 inch piece of firewood, but you wanna make sure that it's small enough that you're not adding too much fuel to the fire before you're ready. Make sure that you have the ability to put it out if something goes wrong. So we have everything ready and assembled to light our fire for the first time, but off camera, we also have a ton of water that I can spray using gravity directly into the firebox. If for whatever reason we need to put out this fire. At first you want to start your fire in the front of the stove. And once it gets going, you'll push it to the back and then add additional fuel. 